I told them my name. My name is Fikoko. Hello, this is Patricia Majlisa on Georgie in the afternoon. You may have grown up in a house where your mom, your dad or your parents were playing her music. And we bring those memories back again today. Where are they now, Patricia Majlisa? Now we want to find out exactly where you are. Where are they now? We get in touch with uh, the 80s uh, bubblegum era superstar, Patricia Majlisa. Let's speak about your meeting with uh, Uden Shanda and uh, Upenol Kunene. How, how did that happen? And uh, uh, working extensively with Dan Shanda as well. Can you take us through that? There's this one day that uh, I was with my friend. We were going to 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 a shawela. As I was passing, I heard uh, 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 the live band playing, you know. And then uh, I asked my friend to wait for me outside so that I can get in there and ask for a job. And then when I was in there, I saw Dan Chandler. By then, he was playing uh, drums. So I told them that I'm a singer and uh, I wanted to work with them. And then they auditioned me. And then they said I must sing uh, one of Miriam McGill's song or uh, a Madonna song. And I sang for them, Holiday. Do you remember that song? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the song I sang for them. So they were happy with my voice. And then from there, they, they, they said I must come for practice and all and all that. And then it's cut my flow on Tamba. Uh, there was Kennel because Kennel came after me. And then it was me and Kennel Kunene and Joseph Chimanga. And then I was the only girl. And then uh, we called our band um, Flying Sound. Mm-hmm. And then we did our first album. The name of the album it was uh, Mr. Tony. But it was a flop. It didn't even sell too much. Oh, no. And then by then uh, we didn't have money and all that. And then uh, we approached Ray Piri so that he's sitting on my cutting race. Uh, right here at that time I was working with, uh, with uh, Lina Kama Ebony so we used to open the stage for them touring with them everywhere and then uh, as we were touring with them and then uh, I think Ray P liked the way we were playing the, the, the like among Ingo Mazabantu and then he said no let's change the flying sound name to, to Splash that is when it splashes a card again and then from there after the, these tours we came back and then we went to the studio again and then we recorded this album E Peacock the one that I told them my name my name is Peacock it was a hit that song was amazing uh, do you know that it was big in Zimbabwe as well everywhere everywhere yeah. it was big yes can you tell us about it how did that come about uh, Peacock by the time it's, it's like a uh, uh, lot of companies didn't want us to record the uh, the uh, the next album because Mr. Tony was a flop but uh, then and I went to this one there was a guy by the name of uh, Hamilton Zimande he was our producer then but now he's late and then we, we like we then begged that guy to, to put us to the studio again so that we do this song they gave us a week they told us that no we're just giving you a week just come to the studio and do your thing and everything and then we finished all the album and then at the, at the last day and then then came with this uh, Peacock or Peacock or song mm-hmm. that's how it came the title Peacock what what inspired Did they, oh, oh okay uh, then then Tanda, they used to call him Peacock because he used to cut do you remember Tyler there was this style I was cut you like a Peacock to leave the, 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 the hair on top here if it's a pickle, so they used to call him pickle. <laughs> Hello, this is Patricia Majlisa on Georgie in the afternoon.